A local grassroots organization is educating the community and fellow activists on immigration detentions. They're also explaining how to find loved ones detained because of their undocumented status. Reporter Amanda Mason attended the workshop sponsored by the Florence Project and Plan on Immigration in Detention Programs. On any given day, 3,000 immigrants in Arizona are detained, according to the American Civil Liberties Union of Arizona. Lucha, Living United for Change in Arizona, is holding workshops to give information on how to help those detained and assist family members in finding their loved ones. Unless you're an attorney that works in immigration, um, you probably don't know most of this information. Aldo Gonzalez presented at the workshop and has been working with immigrants for around six years. Like I know the struggle of what it's like to, to, to be five years old and, and translating for your parents in like a drive through or when someone comes at the door that looks maybe like an officer or kind of, it's really scary. So like I, fe I feel their, their struggle and um, even though I'm a citizen now and I have all these other privileges, I'm not okay because they're not okay, and I have family members who are undocumented too, so um, I'm not fighting just for like some other person, like this is my community too. The workshop gives activists like Aldermo Pena a chance to help those seeking refuge in the U.S. He became an American citizen in 2017, and he came from El Salvador, where people only make an average of five dollars a day. Drink, buy a, a juice for three bucks, and I was like, Man, how much, how, you know, how much a person has to work for $3 in a Salvador? By attending this, this event, I, uh, I actually uh, was able to learn that I can actually visit people at the prison and try to give them some help. For those who are worried about being detained, presenters suggested memorizing key contact numbers because your cell phone may be confiscated. In Phoenix, Amanda Mason, Cronkite News.